Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. Today I titled this message, Going Too Far in Your Research. Going Too Far in Your Research. As much as we like to study and show that self-approved, you can actually go too far in your research to the point where, guess what? You end up not serving the Lord. You end up falling away from your faith. And eventually you recruit others to not worship the Lord, the one true God. He wants our praise, saints and sinners. He wants us to walk with him. He wants us to trust him. But I can get so caught up in studying and researching and finding out why people do what they do and why is it that this particular phrase in the Bible says this and why is it that we say Jesus and then really the Hebrew version of it is this, that, and the other. I can get so caught up in that that I forget that God needs my attention And he wants his will to be made manifest. And I need to be helping some people around me. And I need to be doing some things that he called me to do. Right? So you can go too far in your research to the point of no return. You can go down that black hole of all sorts of truth rather than the truth that God puts you on. And before long, you are suffocated. You are being attacked by the enemy. And you are so weak spiritually that you are no earthly good. Okay. So I came across something where I looked at this particular newsletter where it criticizes the name of Jesus. And it talks about how the Hebrew version of Jesus means horse. And, you know, why is it that people are worshiping the name of Jesus and meanwhile there's scripture that refers to him as the branch uh in uh let me show you where that scripture is in Zechariah okay and uh it's more specifically Zechariah chapter 6 verse uh 11 and 12 okay so here This particular information came across uh, my uh, my computer and I said to myself, I said, "Okay, what am I supposed to do with it? And I read it and I find out that the particular group is spending a lot of time focused on that name, Jesus, and looking at the fact that in non-English translations, it means this, it means that. and they go so far as to say that Satan uh, used that name to fool folks. Uh, you know, it's a lot going on with some of these organizations that are cultic, that have their own share of mystery religions and doctrines and so forth. So who are we to acknowledge anyway when someone comes along and says, you know what, you know, you might want to reconsider you know, supporting this one and that one, you might want to reconsider, you know, praying to Jesus and all that. Uh, We focus in on what it is that God has called us to focus in on. Satan comes along to disrupt us. Satan comes along to keep us off track. Satan wants us to be so focused on particulars, on names, on dates, on uh, incorrect phrases and so forth. Even scholars know that there are plenty of mistranslations of the Bible. Um, They know that some things have been left out. They are well aware of of, uh, the pagan manipulations and so forth. So are we supposed to be so focused on those and getting into debates and things with people about that sort of thing? Some people will say, well, you know, if somebody is saying something really bizarre or crazy or they're trying to, you know, disrupt my faith and tell me how to believe. Yeah, I think we need to break down the scripture. I think we need to tell them, you know, well, here's what the Hebrew says versus here's what the Greek says. Here's what the English says and all that. I personally feel that it's unnecessary because after a while, if you get into so many battles with people, you start to spiritually grow weak 
you start to find yourself not um, as focused as you should be on what God's will and purpose is. So you can become strong after so many debates, but then you can also find yourself becoming quite weak. Okay. Um, too much research will confuse you, will give you headaches, uh, will cause you not uh, to stay focused on what it is that God wants you to stay focused on because you become easily distracted with other things. Too much research will tire you out. Uh, you will also lose sight of just having a human connection to people, a relationship, because you're so caught up in the book and what the book says and you're on the Internet and you're reading what these uh, different commentaries, um, you know, say. And then you're pulling out all sorts of documents and it can become overwhelming. So there's a time for research and then there's a time for prayer. There's also a time for reading your word, just reading it, not pulling out every little thing and analyzing every little thing. There's also a time for you to sit down and be amongst human beings and allow them to test you a bit. And God will do just that. Um, iron sharpens iron. So I know some of you all are zealous for the Lord. I know some of you all enjoy reading the text. Um, but at the same time, you've got to have some balance. You don't want to turn off those folks who God has turned on, right? Um, those that are drawn near because they actually respect and like and love you. Um, you also don't want to end up being a zealous Christian that ends up turning everybody off. So I thank you as always for taking the time out to listen, but be mindful, okay, of those individuals who want to shake your faith because they want to pull out all sorts of scriptures and um, they want to read into some things and assume that the mark of the beast is upon this thing and that thing. And maybe the mark of the beast is. But are we supposed to be so focused in on this elitist organization, that mystery religion, um, this wayward person in the family and everything else that we're not getting our work done, whatever that might be that God has called us to? So be in prayer, be in prayer for those that are going off down into the rabbit hole and not coming back, it seems. Let's pray that they do come back and that they gain their insight back, their vision and their focus on what God wants them to. Some people need to reconnect with their children. Some folks need to have a um, have a counseling session with a therapist. Uh, others need to start um, going to doctor's appointments again because their health is failing, but they rather spend more time arguing over trivial things, uh, you know, incorrect translations and manipulations and arguing with people and everything. And meanwhile, there's more pressing issues. So I thank you as always for taking the time out of your busy schedule to listen, take a moment with God, allow God to just show you the errors of your ways, allow God to direct you, allow God to give you peace and prosperity, allow God to just love on you a bit, enjoy your quiet and close the book if you are that one that has been so wrapped up in educating yourself that you no longer see people. Please do check the description box for anything related to your situation. Also, if you haven't given to this uh, channel, please do. You've been listening to YouTube NM Enterprise 7. Please subscribe today. To God be the glory.